guys and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be comparing glasses versus contact lenses. So let's jump right into the video. So you've come to this video because you are trying to figure out what's better, glasses or contacts, what's more expensive, glasses or contacts, or what gives you the better vision, glasses or contacts. <laughs> so we're gonna jump into all those categories, all those discussions. But first, as far as glasses, comfort goes, which I guess we'll jump into that first topic, comfort. Glasses, comfort, check out my last video or a couple videos ago talking about how to find the perfect frame for you um, so that you can have the best comfort in your glasses. Now, aside from finding the correct fit to affect your glasses comfort, glasses comfort in general is still something on your face. Vision through the lenses depends on the material and how good of quality the lenses are. So there's that comfort and there's the fact that there's something sitting on your face. Now contact lenses comfort. There are lots of different kinds of lenses. There are daily lenses and monthly lenses. There are rigid lenses, bi-monthly lenses, and a bunch of other ton, crazy tons of options for contact lenses. So as far as contact lenses go that are dailies, obviously you put it in the morning, you take it out at night, you throw it away and you start with a new lens in the morning. A monthly lens, some people think you put it in and leave it in for a month, that is not correct. You put it in in the morning, you take it out at night, you put it in the morning, you take it out at night for a month, and then you throw it away and you start all over with a brand new lens. So comfort between monthlies and dailies. Daily lenses are the most comfortable lens of course, it all depends on the person, but they are the thinnest, they are the most breathable lenses out there, so they should be the most comfortable lenses for you, and there's no buildup, and there's no having to store it in a case and possibly have it exposed to whatever, so it should be the most comfortable lens for you. Monthly lenses can be comfortable too. The main difference between the two is that breathability. Now, as far as that versus glasses, it depends on the person, totally depends on the person. If you are a part-time glasses wearer, part-time contact lens wearer, and you switch back and forth between the two, you might want to decide if you should be wearing monthly or daily lenses. Daily lenses are nice if you are like really sporadic as to when you wanna wear what kind of lens, um, whether that's contact lens or glasses. Um, or if you are part-time and you wear, say, glasses for a week and contacts for a week and glasses for a week and contacts for a week. But if you do that and you wear contact lenses that are monthly contact lenses, you need to keep track of when you opened that blister pack. Now that blister pack is only good once opened for 30 days if it is a monthly lens, even if it's not on your eye. So if you wear glasses for a week, contacts for a week, glasses for a week, contacts for a week, that one's done. Even though you only wore that contact lenses for two weeks, I'm sorry, those contact lenses for two weeks total, those lenses are done. They've been open for a month, throw them away. Now there is a tray that I'll show a picture of here that I found on Amazon that is really awesome in helping you keep track of when you opened your contact lenses. Now I'm sure there's options that are similar to this for like travel and such, but this one is for your bathroom counter. So you can put your little contact lens case that has the two, you know, little circles. I'll put a picture here. <laughs> um, you can put that in the tray so that you can change it to when you opened that um, set of lenses and keep track of how long they've been there. So you can set it for 30 days. Sometimes um, there's, I mean, there's lots of settings because there's lots of different kinds of lenses. So that's a great option as far as keeping track. Now comfort, like I said, between the two really depends on what you prefer having something on your face, having something on your eye. <laughs> so that is totally up to you. Now, if you've never worn contact lenses and you're here to find out which one would be better, contacts or glasses, um, then I would suggest starting with a fitting. Now, if you feel like, yeah, I wanna wear contacts because I don't wanna wear glasses, great. If you are willing to go through the process of learning how to take care of them, learning how to put them on, learning how to take them off, 
then go to your doctor and start with a fitting so that they can have you try some lenses out. And the fitting process in, usually includes any of the visits to find the lenses that work for you and then your prescription. And then once you order, you can, or once they finalize you and give you that prescription, you can order the contacts from them or wherever. So if you're wanting to try contacts, go talk to your doctor and have them start a fitting and start some trials, try out some dailies, try out some monthlies, see what they'll let you try. Now, if you are debating between monthly and dailies, I gave a few examples of why you would do one or the other, but I would say really think before you go, if you're thinking about going and doing that fitting, think about why or what you want to use your contact lenses for. If you are a swimmer and you swim every other day of the week, and you do it six hours a day, I wouldn't suggest contact lenses. They're probably not for you. And you don't obviously wear glasses while you're swimming either, but you don't wear contacts usually either. So um, depending on what you're doing, contact lenses are great if you need to not have something falling off your face, depending on the work you do. But if you're in a dry, dusty environment, contact lenses are probably not a good option. Um, well, Glasses might not be either if it's really bad, but think about all those things when you're deciding what to do, contacts versus glasses. Let's see how many times I'm saying contacts versus glasses in this video. <laughs> all right, so the next thing is the difference in vision between the two. Um, vision through your glasses and vision through your contact lenses is all dependent on your prescription and the options you chose for your glasses and the type of lens that your doctor puts you in for your contact lenses. So if your doctor puts you in the best fitting, perfect fit for your eyes, for your prescription contact lens, vision should be great through those lenses. And if you got the best fitting glasses, the best materials and everything, the vision will be great, but it's going to be different than your contact lenses. Your contact lenses sit directly on the eye. So the vision through that is different than a lens that's sitting away from your eye. The optics through them is different. They can both be great, but they are going to be different. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about the difference between the two, which one gives you better vision. Now, some people have prescriptions that allow them to have other specialty kinds of contact lenses that correct their vision way better than glasses ever can. And sometimes people have a prescription that doesn't allow them to do contact lenses and glasses work better for them. So it just really depends on the person. So keep that in mind. <laughs> the last thing we need to compare here is the cost difference between the two. Now, everybody thinks that glasses are so dang expensive. Yeah, they can be, but they don't have to be. There's lots of options out there for glasses, lots of different frame companies, lots of different companies you can buy your glasses from that make the prescription lenses, lots of different doctor's offices out there that all have different pricing. And of course, there's insurance that you can use on glasses or contacts. So glasses versus contacts in price over the long haul. I would say if you are wearing daily lenses, versus glasses. Now, just daily versus glasses. Daily lenses can range anywhere from about 600 to eight to 900 ish dollars a year for your year supply. But you are not paying for solution to store those lenses in. You might have a little bit of multi-purpose solution on hand in case you, say, drop it before you even get it in your eye in the morning <laughs> or something irritates your eye in the middle of the day and you need to take it out and rinse it off and put it back in. A multi-purpose solution, you might have a little bottle on hand, but you don't need solution. You don't need cases or anything with daily lenses. So that cost versus monthly lens cost um, can seem astronomically different on the scale of price. Um, monthly lenses can range anywhere from as low as I've seen $80 for a year supply. It really depends on the lens you're in. $80 versus like $500 for year supply of monthly lenses. Those ones you do have to have solution. You do have to have cases. You do have to keep track of how long you've been wearing them. So there's a lot that goes into it. Now that's a year's worth of those lenses. If you get the monthly lenses that are 80 bucks for a month, 
or, or, sorry, 80 bucks for a year's worth of those monthly lenses, fantastic. You're definitely going to be spending less than you are on glasses. Glasses, uh, well, depending on where you get your glasses, that is the other thing. So keep that in mind. Glasses, I would say if you're getting a good quality frame from a an office, your doctor's office, they're probably going to be anywhere between 120 to you know, $300 and then designers get up there into, well, I would say designers get there from like $300 to $600 for a frame. Those obviously are great quality, but they also have a name attached to them, which makes the price go up a bit. Um, but there are plenty of glasses out there in that lower range of, like I said, $120 to $200 that are, or even 100 to 200, um, that are great quality glasses. Now, there are plenty of websites out there, I'm sure as you've seen, that sell glasses. I cannot vouch for the quality of those frames because I haven't worked with them. But the majority of the big corporation manufacturers that I have seen glasses frames from for brands like Fendi and Gucci and Vera Wang and Nicole Miller and Ray-Ban and Anne Klein... Dana Buckman, uh, their list goes on and on. I can't think of all of them right now. And of course, men's frames, Harley Davidson, Gantt, um, Cole Haan, Calvin Klein jeans, lots of different options. Um, those are going to all be in that middle range that I was talking about price-wise. Now, lenses, the quality of the lenses differs where you go, but the core plastic lenses should give you the same vision across the board. I cannot vouch for all the companies, but it should be the same. Um, depending if you add anti-glare, anti-scratch, like I talked about in my last video, which there will be a link at the end of this one for that. Um, Depending on if you add those things on, then the glasses, of course, cost more. If you have insurance, glasses can be really affordable, if not 100% covered. And VSP is the most common vision insurance here in the U.S., at least in California, where I'm at. And that insurance, the basic plan on their website starts at like $15 a month. I am not sponsored by them or affiliated with them by any means, but that is a great plan if you need glasses every single year and you know that, go check out VSP's website, vsp.com, and see what they have um, as far as insurance goes because that could help you with glasses every single year. Now, your glasses prescription is good for two years. Your contact lens prescription is good for one year. Regardless, if you only wear glasses, your doctor recommends an exam every year to make sure that your eyes are doing their best, that you're seeing your best, that there haven't been any dramatic changes. And I know when you're young and you, you know, don't have anything going on health-wise, it can be like, well, I can skip a year, I can whatever. It's totally up to you, but to be on the safe side, you only have one set of eyes, Go to the doctor every year and see him and make sure your eyes are good. Get a new prescription. If it hasn't changed that much, use your old glasses. If it's changed a lot, definitely get new ones or put new lenses in your old frame. There are tons of options out there. I hope this video helped you guys out with um, seeing the differences between glasses versus contact lenses. I feel like I've said that phrase so many times in this video. Let's... Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding glasses versus contacts, hit me up in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button so you can find out everything you need to know about glasses and follow me on Instagram at I am thriftiness down here at the bottom. And you can see all the cute styles and things going on in my world as an optician for glasses every single day. And I'll see y'all next time.